सो हे आर दी टॉप फाइव रीजन वाई यू शुड गेट दी पेनासोनिक ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर नंबर फाइव इज दी साइज इज लेस दैन नाइन्टी मिलीमीटर लॉन्ग वाओ दी सिगमा सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर एफ वन पॉइंट फोर इज मोर लॉन्गर अराउंड नाइन्टी मिलीमीटर एंड दिस वन इज मोर शॉर्टर इन लेंथ वाओ दी साइज इज सुपर अमेजिंग एंड नंबर फोर इज दी बेटर सीलिंग राइट नाउ I'm just feeling some droplet of the rain is going to rain, so I don't have to worry about. Only thing I have to worry about is my Sigma 45 millimeter f 2.8, which is not weather seal as you can see. This is the lens I really have to worry about. But other than that, this lens I don't have to worry about. Wow, weather sealing. And number three is the range 20 to 60 millimeter. If your lens start from 24 to 70, 24 to 105, which is considered wide to telephoto, wide to mid side telephoto. This is considered ultra wide. Uh, this is one of the world's first lens. We start from ultra wide. 20 mm is not wide, which is ultra wide. So wide, sorry, ultra wide to medium size telephoto. It cover the ultra wide range. It cover the wide range. Your 24 mm and it cover the medium size telephoto. Your 60 mm, 50 mm, anything after 50 mm become medium size telephoto. Anything after 100 mm become your longer telephoto. And then the number two is the aperture f 3.5. Wow, it lets so much light in. Before you start arguing with me, f 3.5 is around f 1.75 in micro four third. If you need the same amount of aperture, or you need same amount of aperture, you have to get the Panasonic 10 to 25 f 1.7 lens, or in APS-C f 3.5 become like f 2.3. You have to get the Samyang f2 or Viltra f1.4. So, in APS-C f3.5 is 2.3, and in micro four third is f1.7. Wow! And those of the micro four third, most of the micro four third, and uh, for example, in micro four third, you have to really get a manual lens if you want to get f1.7 something. You have to get this. Uh, that is super ultra. But you have to get the lower. 7.5 millimeter, uh, like something like that. For Sam APS-C, you can get Samyang. Even you can get Tamron. 11 to 20. We started f 2.8. But again, you are going to get more bokeh than Samyang 12 millimeter f 2, and you are going to get the same amount of bokeh compared to the Panasonic 10 to 25 f 1.7. Again, I know Panasonic 10 to 25 stay f 1.7 throughout the range. It's a constant uh, lens. But I don't have problem with the telephoto. And number one is the weight. This lens can easily weigh around 700, 800 gram. But no, 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 no. It's only 350 gram. It's similar to my Fuji, my Fuji 18 to 55 f 2.8 to f 4. Are you kidding with me? Like this is a cupcake lens. This weighs around 250 gram. My new Sigma 20 millimeter f 2 weighs around 370, 80 gram. That one weighs more than this one. Amazing, perfect lens. So these are the five reasons why you should get the Panasonic 20 to 60. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And I think I have to say you bye now because the weather is a little bit raining. It's going to start to rain. What are you waiting for? Subscribe and bye.